Namaste early on. My name is Terry, and I am a resource consultant at Lansdowne Children's Centre. Today I'm going to talk to you about the development of number recognition, counting, and some fun activities you can use to enhance your child's numeracy skills. I'll talk about math skills at different ages, information that has been shared by Amanda Moran, who has been in the education for over 20 years as a teacher, early intervention specialist, parent coach, speaker, and writer. There are certain math milestones most kids hit at roughly the same age. But keep in mind, these kids develop math skills at different rates. If your child does not yet have all these skills listed for their age group, that is okay. Did you know that children are using and learning early math skills throughout their daily routines and activities? Surprisingly, children start learning numeracy skills from the time they are born. A child's first year of life are a time of rapid learning. Infant learn happens from watching and experiencing numeracy in action, especially in everyday play and activities. Developing numeracy skills in early childhood gives children a foundation for their learning and development. It prepares them for daily life, including general problem solving and handling money. Math includes noticing numbers, shapes, pattern, size, time, and measurements. Incorporating math into everyday experience is easy and fun. Math is everywhere, in the playground, at the stores, at the childcare, and at home. To learn about numbers, children need lots of experiences with counting, drawing, and exploring and talking about numbers. Between the ages of birth to 12 months of age, infants begin to predict the sequence of events, such as water running, that means bath time. Infants begin to understand the basic cause and effect, such as shaking a rattle. It makes noise. They begin to classify things in simple ways. Some toys make sounds and others don't. They start to learn to understand relevance of size. A baby is small and my parents are big. As parents and educator, the language we use helps them learn about numeracy, such as your bowl is empty or full. As infants, the first math concept they typically learn is more. Some activities that you can do with your infant are singing number songs and rhymes, reading stories with your child, such as Goldilocks and the Three Bears, counting baby's fingers and toes. Between the ages of one and two years of age, children begin to understand the concept of what numbers mean, such as using their fingers to show you how old they are. You may also hear them trying to count, although the numbers aren't necessarily in the right order. They begin to learn different concepts such as under, behind, faster, slower. They begin to match basic shapes such as triangles, circles, and squares. Children in this age group begin exploring measurements by filling and emptying containers. They begin to learn patterns in their daily routine. After supper, it is bedtime. Some activities you can do with your toddler is read books, singing songs, coloring with your child, doing insert puzzles, pretend play with your toddler, using items such as play foods and pots and pans, providing water play with different sizes of containers. Count together. Remember, as you're playing with your child, describe what they are doing to help them develop the language and begin to understand concepts such as big, little, and about shapes and numbers. During the preschool years, the age of three and four, children begin to recognize shapes in the real world. Children at this age start sorting by color, shape, size, and purpose, such as grouping the same animals or bugs of the same color or size. They compare and start using classifications like height, size, and gender, count to 20, and count items in a group. They have an awareness of how to put a puzzle together. They begin to predict cause and effect, such what would happen if I dropped this toy into a bucket full of water. Some language around measurement will also come at this stage, where you will probably hear your child expressing things like, this tower is as tall as me. They begin to be able to follow simple patterns, such as beating by having a concrete picture for them to follow. Activities you can provide for this age group are puzzles, creating simple science experiments, building with blocks while describing the size of the blocks, counting the blocks, comparing the size of the towers, provide toys for children to sort, such as these transportation vehicles.
orange goes in the orange bowls. Yellow transportation go in the yellow bowl. And blue, the blue train goes into the blue bowl. Match simple shapes such as circles, squares, and triangles. Have your child help you with the everyday chores, such as matching socks, setting the table, counting how many plates we need, cups and spoons and forks. At the age of five, children begin to add by using their fingers on one hand. One, two, three, four, five, and starting at six on the second hand. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They can identify the longer of two numbers and recognize numerals up to 20. They can copy or draw shapes. Begin to use very basic maps to find hidden treasures. Understand basic time concepts like morning, days of the week. Follow multi-step directions that use words like first and next. They may know how to count backwards from 10. Learn how to write one digit numbers they may also start using terms such as first, second, and third. Some fun activities you can do with your five-year-old are play math bingo. Make simple bingo cards using written digits from one to 20. Make paper plate clocks. Begin letting your child what time it is. For example, it's 12, it's time for lunch. Play hopscotch, have a scavenger hunt. Begin teaching graphing by asking questions how many children like pepperoni on your pizza? And have the children and you make a graph. Play simple board games with your child. At the age of six, you will see children to begin to be able to predict what comes next in a pattern and create their own patterns. Know the difference between two and three dimensional shapes and name the basic ones, cubes, cones, and cylinders. Count to 100 by ones, two, five, and tens. Write and recognize the numerals 0 to 100 and the words for the numbers from 1 to 20. Do basic addition and subtraction up to 20. Read and create a simple bar graph. Children begin to recognize and know the value of money and coins. Activities that you can do with your 6-year-old is play card games such as Go Fish, Crazy 8, a game of Uno. Play board games such as Snakes and Ladders. Play treasure hunt by making a treasure map for your child to follow to find a hidden gem. Roll and record. Provide your child with a dice and have them roll one or two dice and then record it on a piece of paper. Have your child do chores and begin to give them allowance. For example, make a chart of list of chores you want your child to do and how much money they will receive for those chores. Have them save up their money for a special toy they may want or a special treat, such as an ice cream cone. As you can see, learning about numbers and numeracy can be fun by providing lots of games and activities for you and your child to do together. Thank you for joining me today with, your, with our Early On Parent Session. A resource consultant from the Early Integration Program is available to talk to you should you want more information, support, or to discuss any concerns or questions you may have please contact us by email at eip at lansdownecc.com or by phone at 519-753-3153. Ask reception if you can speak to a resource consultant.